Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm actually about to head out because I need to go to Trader Joe's. I've been on a Trader Joe's kick lately, so I'm excited to go over there and get a bunch of stuff. Today I have kind of a busy day, not really too much. I have to do some brand work, um, obviously do some grocery shopping, and yeah. If you guys saw my last vlog when I got a haircut, I have been really liking it. I'm gonna be honest though, I feel like the bangs are a bit, like, it, it's gonna take maintenance, obviously. The person who cut my hair was telling me, you know, it's, it might be a little bit annoying because bangs are not easy to style and maintain, so I already kinda knew that, but I feel like it frames my face really well and I really like it, so yeah, that's just how the hair's going. This is my outfit for today, but I'm wearing this top, which is from Forever 21. I got it in like the sales section. I don't even know if they have it anymore because it was in clearance, but it's really cute. And then these jeans, these are like mom jeans. They're really baggy and I think they're really cute and they're comfy. And I don't really like to wear jeans like all that much, but I really like these ones because these, these ones are like big and comfy, you know? But these ones are from H&M, so. Yeah, let's head to Trader Joe's. I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog in there. I think I'm just gonna do a haul afterwards, but yeah. Welcome back to another vlog, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and let's get started with the vlog. Okay, guys, here's my Trader Joe's haul. Try to make it quick. First of all, I got this reusable bag. Let's start off with what's in here. I got two of the corn uh, chip dippers because I went through one bag in literally a day and this is my favorite guac from them it's the organic chunky home style guacamole I was looking for the Greek yogurt one but I couldn't find it so I don't know um, I heard that this sauce is the is like a dupe for the in and out sauce thing so I kind of want to try it with like burgers and fries then I got some chickpeas and this new, um, oh, this is new. No, this is not new. I was thinking about their pickle seasoning, which I did see at Trader Joe's, but this one is their ranch seasoning blend. So I kind of want to put this on here and I saw someone air fry it. So that looked really good. Um, then I got another dip. This is the everything and the elote Greek style yogurt dip. So I got that. Um, I got these chicken cilantro mini wontons. I heard some good things about these, so I'm going to try it out. Some chicken fried rice. I saw these. Um, these are the chocolate fudge oat bars. We should, I'm gonna try these. I feel like they're gonna be really good. I also got some ginger shots. I haven't had these in so long. These are the Trader Joe's hash browns. They're little things. I used to put my avocado mash on here. I got some just tomato sauce, vodka sauce. I just got a bunch of pasta sauces. I got some steamed pork and ginger dumplings. I got some salmon and chicken breast. Two crunchy curls because this shit is so good. I got some oat milk. This is the best lemonade ever, guys. I'm obsessed with this lemonade, right? Jordan, isn't this good? Yeah, this one? good. Um, and then the last thing I got was the Trader Joe's cold brew coffee. I don't know, I kinda just wanna try it. So yeah, there's my little haul for y'all. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be in the process now of going through my clothes and what I don't wear anymore. My, oh God, my closet is a mess, guys, because I've just been like throwing everything in here that I get that's new. And then I have this thing where I'm just like, I hoard my clothes and just like, so I'm like, oh, maybe I'll wear it later or maybe I'll like it later because it's like conventionally cute. Um but it just like sometimes it just doesn't look good on me and sometimes I don't like it, but I keep it because like looking at it, it's cute, you know? So I have a bunch of shit here and things that I need to get rid of. I need to try to minimize the amount that I bring to a new city. Okay, quite some time has passed. I feel like I barely made a dent. <laughs> um, okay, so all my tops and stuff are here. I cleared out all, do you guys remember what it looked like before? I cleared out a lot of my jeans and pants and 
these are literally the only ones that I wear and there's so many pants and shorts and stuff that I just don't use so I'm excited to give those away. Now I think I'm gonna move on to, um, I don't know what I'm gonna move on to next. I also did like reorganized my um, gym stuff and went through them all. A lot of the gym stuff I wear so I didn't really get rid of too many things regarding my gym stuff but yeah. Um, okay, I think I need to, I think I'm gonna just do my dresses next. The thing with dresses, I can't say like, oh, if I haven't worn them like a bunch of times, then I should get rid of it because I feel like I don't really wear dresses unless it's a special occasion. So I feel like I'm just gonna have to really go off of what dresses really make me feel confident and ones that if I can just put it on and I don't even need to look at myself in the mirror, I know I'll feel good in it. So I think that's my criteria for this. All right guys, I'm done for the day. <laughs> it has been many hours. Those are just a bunch of clothes that I am going to donate and give away. Um, these are all like my winter stuff, my scarves and everything that I'm not gonna need and I'm not gonna bring right now, especially because it's really hot in Texas. So yeah, um, I kept these on their hangers and I'm just gonna put them in like a trash bag with the hangers so it's easier to just hang back up. Here are just still some of my suitcases. I think I'm just going to put a bunch of clothes in there. And this is really the clothes that I'm taking with me. I cleared up that whole section over there. All of my dresses that I am bringing are right here in these two sections. It looks like a mess, honestly, but it's like an organized mess. If that makes sense. Um, so yeah, making progress in here. And I think I'm gonna be done for today because I am tired. All right, guys, I just fed Rocket. It is 6 p.m been a long day and I have a bunch of like emails and stuff that I need to answer because I haven't um, been on my computer at all today and I uploaded a video a vlog this morning so I want to respond to um, some comments that you guys gave me but yeah I'm just hanging out now I'm so exhausted I don't know why that took so much out of me I was literally inside my closet for maybe like five hours <laughs> of just really getting everything together and just trying to figure out what I want to bring, what I don't want to bring. I don't know what I want to have for dinner. Yeah, I'm going to answer some emails and make some dinner. Okay, I was gonna make pasta, but then I just remembered I wanted to try these. These are the chicken cilantro mini wontons. So we're gonna try them. Um, I think I'm just going to dip them in the ponzu sauce that I really liked. This is so good. Okay, so let's do that. Honestly, I feel like this would taste better if I would just stop being lazy and <laughs> like uh, heated it up on the stove but I'm lazy, so. Oh, another thing that I wanted to try tonight was also um, the oat bars that I got. I feel like this would be good if I made like a soup and then just plop these in there. All right, that's on for two minutes. Okay, I, I forgot to vlog, but I already ate a few and I didn't even vlog it, but this is really good. I like it a lot. I had the, um, what is it, the pot stickers, and I think I like these ones better. I think they're just easier to eat, and I think I like the taste of them. Or are these chicken? These are chicken. No. Those pot stickers were chicken as well, I think. Or were they pork? I don't know. But I do like these ones better than the pot stickers. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how I was going to feel about the cilantro, but I think I like it. I think it adds like a really nice little touch. Okay, and I also want to try the oat bars. Let's see, it's a non-dairy frozen dessert. This is really good. Okay, approved. Hi guys, I don't know what day it is. I don't even know when I left off this vlog because I'm still packing. Um, I think I'm just gonna continue this day, I really don't know when I stopped filming, but I should have looked at the last clip. But anyways, 
I'm gonna vlog for today because it's another busy packing day and I feel like, is that interesting? I don't know. But anyways, I'm packing up a bunch of my stuff. I had a bunch of things under my bed that I needed to take out. And I have my printer here, my piano, which I'm also bringing. I started putting my stuff in here. Here's my little projector and I'm gonna start putting, I think I'm gonna put all of like my books and tech stuff in here. So yeah, I just have a bunch of crunchy curls. Here's the stuff that I'm giving away that I'm probably gonna give away next week sometime. I'm sweating right now. Okay, I got a bunch of my mugs and kitchen stuff. Well, this is not all of it, but um, that I'm bringing. I have this little box right here. I feel like I needed to get bubble wrap because I don't want it to break. This is what's happening right now. The bar cart is gone. A lot of our stuff is gone. This is like low key a little bit sad i don't know why i'm feeling sad right now um but here's all the stuff that i um put in here so these are all my books and my projector my vinyl i have all my vinyls under here and yeah all these cabinets are pretty much empty this is all rocket stuff which i also need to pack as well but um yeah so as you guys know, or if you don't know, my move-in date is at the end of June. I have to be out of here by this week because our lease is ending here earlier. So I'm kind of just like floating for a week and a half. Um, <laughs> so I'm staying at my sister's for a week and a half. So I think I'm gonna put all the stuff that I need for like those days that I'm just kind of like floating in a um suitcase so it's gonna be like i'm living off i'm living in a suitcase for <laughs> a little bit before i actually move to texas so my dad is helping me move and i think i'm going to just move all of the stuff that's for my apartment i'm gonna just bring it to my parents house and leave it there and then the only thing i'm gonna bring to my sister's apartment where i'm staying at or her house where i'm staying at is just like clothes and products and stuff that i need for that 10 days. But yeah, I also have a meeting in like 20 minutes, so I'm just gonna do as much as I can until then. And yeah. Our frames are gone, guys. The bar card is gone. It's crazy. Um, our TV is gone. <laughs> um, I have some packages here that I wanted to open up for you guys. So let's do that. I got invited to this cool event thing this weekend that I want to go to it's in new york but me and my sister were planning on moving all of our stuff by this weekend um so i think i might just try to have everything ready and move everything out ahead of time it's from katie dean jewelry it's female founded handmade in america each piece is designed and made with love and every order makes a difference okay cute so i have this necklace can you see that that's so cute. Next, I have a package from Drunk Elephant, which I am actually freaking out a little bit. Look at this. This is so awesome. I'm definitely gonna be reusing this bag. Oh, we got lots of stuff here. So first thing we have is the C Firma Fresh Day Serum, TLC Sukari Baby Facial. Um, the multivitamin eye cream, lippy balm, a la retro whipped cream, proteiny polypeptide cream. I've actually heard a lot of good things about that. Virgin Marula luxury facial oil, the TLC Framboose glycolic night serum, the B Hydra intensive hydration serum, teeny power peptide, Bestie number no. nine jelly cleanser and then the F-Bomb Electrolyte Water Facial. I've actually also heard really good things about this one. Okay, next thing we have here is a spring edit box. So this is from the brand Edit. Basically, it's like a box that it's curated with different brands and stuff that they know and love. And this is just a really great way to try new products and like try new brands. So um, I will leave the link to this down below. They had like the fall edit, had like the, the summer edit, just like different things. So this is the spring edit. I'm so excited. Okay. Ah, it's always so cute. It's so exciting. Okay. So for the spring edit, so these are all of the different um, 
brands that's included in here. I'll open the like clothing stuff after, but I want to show you guys the products first. Here we have, I think this is like a drink, some sort of supplement. Yeah, this is a supplement. Cute. He sent me that one and then this vitamin C one. Um, Ember Wellness Facial Cupping Set. That's pretty cool. We have Revitalash Cosmetics Lash and Brow Mask. Um, this is from Tula Skincare. Their Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen SPF 30. Okay, this is another Tula Skincare Rose Glow and Get It Cooling Brightening. Wait, I have actually wanted to try this. I remember like someone on TikToks mentioned about their um, brightening eye balm from Tula. I'm gonna try this later. Then we have some more Revitalash Cosmetics. This is eyebrow conditioner, a high definition brow gel. Um, so this is the RMS Beauty Living Luminizer, the Re-Evolve Radiance Looking Primer. Oh, non-alcoholic seltzer, watermelon lime. We have some sun bum stuff, perfect for the summer. These are tinted, I love that. This is their uh, Sunset Cove Tinted Lip Balm, has SPF 15 in it. And this one is in Sandbar. Cute. It comes with these matches. Okay, this is, okay, wait. You guys know my favorite color is yellow. <gasps> this is so cute. I feel like this video is super long now because of these little hauls I have. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog. Stay tuned for more moving vlogs because we have lots of those coming. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.